NVTV, your exclusive insight into all the action from Netball Victoria and the Melbourne Vixens. Let's see what's in store for today's episode. Catch your Melbourne Vixens in action. Book now through Ticketek or visit melbournevixens.com.au. Our 2015 memberships are on sale and we'd love for you to be part of our Melbourne Vixens family. So secure your seat at melbournevixens.com.au so we can see you at the next Vixens game. Let's check out the latest results from the Victorian Netball League. Round four action of the Victoria Netball League and I'm joined by ACU Sovereigns and Under-19s coach Kerry Lightfoot. Kerry, tough tough loss against Monash, how did you see the game? We got a good start, uh, we were very competitive, very probably unlucky that uh, we just didn't sustain the intensity for the full four quarters but we've got a really young, inexperienced team and they really gave um, uh, Monash a, a hard game and really uh, stretched Monash right out to the end so uh, happy with our performance but certainly would have liked the win was a great performance, but you've squared the ledger at two, two wins, two losses. How have you seen the 2015 season to date? We've got a great start with a, an experienced team, so um, two from two, obviously we would like some more wins, but um, you know the girls are out there trying their hardest each time, and um, Monash were always going to be tough, So and Blaze, they played a, a fantastic game against us, so it was very close. There are only sh uh, small losses, so uh, I think six goals, under six goals, so um, we're certainly in the contest. And a short turnaround, but you face the Falcons on Saturday uh, for round five. How are you prepared for that match? Um, we love home games. Obviously, it's easier for us to prepare, um, a little bit less travel. So, uh, once again, they're tough opposition, but um, we'll be very hard to beat on our home court and uh, with home support. So, we're looking for a really good encounter on Saturday night. Kerry, thanks for your time. Thank you. Tony Lind and Emily Post. Tony, uh, another win for you guys. How are you seeing your season so far? Yeah, we're doing really well. We've got a really young team, um, so we're just building on that. Um, yeah, we had a really good pre-season, so we're just trying to build on that and make sure we're hitting our systems and doing well. But yeah, we've got a good start to the season. Emily, you guys were grand finalists last year. Is there a bit of out to avenge last year's grand final loss? Oh, you can't say there isn't. Obviously, it was a tough blow considering how good a season we had. Um, but you know, we don't put that grand final as like the benchmark of our season. We obviously were a really good team. And we're, obviously our team has changed a lot this season and we've sort of, the ones that have stayed around are pushing each other to, you know, to get to that grand final again. And it was a good win to get against Saints, obviously, as a bit of a revenge. But, you know, we're not looking there. We're looking this season now. Yeah. And Tony, all three teams are on top of the ladder at the moment. Must be a good feeling to be part of the City West Falcons at the moment. Yeah, it is a good feeling, but at the same time, we're a really professional club and, um, you know, it doesn't really mean too much in the rounds, as you can see from last year as we <laughs> fell down in the finals. So um, we're just making sure we train really hard and we want to keep going throughout the season like this and hopefully one step further this year. Girls, the very best of luck for the year. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Just decide what victory means to you. Is it being the first person in your family to go to uni? Is it finding your passion? Or getting into the career you've always dreamed of? No matter where you are in life, or where you've been, we believe victory is yours for the making.
show the heart, the power and the belief that we have in each other. Thanks for watching NBTV. Hope to see you at the next Melbourne Vixens home game.